Hi vlog, it's Michelle here. It's January 1st, 2022. I'm with Megan and Lynette. <laughs> We're currently at the Love Field Airport in Dallas. We're on our way to Atlanta for Passion 2022. For those who don't know what that is, it's a Christian conference. And yeah, we're so excited to go. It's really hot in this airport. It's six in the morning. Yeah, it's so <laughs> early. Anyways, our flight doesn't board right now, so we're just chilling. But yeah, I thought I would document this trip. We're there for a few days. I've never been to Atlanta, so I'm looking forward to it. You, you've never been right. But Lynette, you've been. I've been. Did you like it? Lynette's eating right now. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> she said, it's okay. I'm looking forward to see what it's like. Megan told me that um, rappers live there. I forgot. Yeah, like Cardi B. <laughs> I know. What if we see Cardi B in offset? What if they're going to passion? <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. Girls trip. Girls trip. A great way to start out this new year. Plane. And we had to take a train. That train was so scary. It was. I almost fell. So. And they had a funny caution sign. A guy tripping. A plane train. <laughs> a plane train. <laughs> but yeah, now we're on our way to baggage claim. We just got Starbucks. I got um, a white mocha frappuccino with caramel drizzle and Java chips. Lynette. Caramel frapp. And Megan, she's up there. She got. Megan, what did you get? Mango Dragon Lemonade. Yay. Take exit 249A for Portland Street or Georgia State University. It's not raining anymore. where we're going tomorrow for passion. Wow. Definitely has a lot of character. It looks like origami. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. Whoever created Mercedes-Benz Stadium, I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> it looks very interesting. Wow. Hey, everybody. So, currently we're at Huh? It's not supposed to rain. Okay, that's good. We're at um, the street that Martin Luther King used to live at here in Atlanta, and we're gonna go see his house. We drove by, and there's so many people taking pictures, and we were like, why are so many people taking pictures of that house? And we looked it up, and it was his house. So we're so excited. And then we're gonna go to a museum, I think, after that. But 
Happy yeah. birthday. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at honey foolish over there. Ah! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So this is the house that Martin Luther King Jr. lived in. Wow. And this is his neighborhood. He walked these streets. Oh my gosh. Look at the eternal flame. So beautiful. So now we're at Martin Luther King's tombstone, which is right over there. That's so crazy. Oh, these birds are crazy. Wait, where do they go? Now that I'm filming, now that I'm filming, they don't want to appear. <laughs> oh my gosh. But this thing here is so special. I don't know what I feel, but it's, wow. Yeah, let's go, let's go get closer. These are the six principles of nonviolence. 365. Lynette said her favorite was three, right? Yes. I think mine is six. Megan, which one's your favorite? Mm, you know, I'm kind of vibing with number five. Okay. Nonviolence chooses love instead of hate. Okay, so currently we're at Kroger. We're here to get some groceries for the Airbnb before we go back. And yeah, and then, I don't, and then we're going to Chick-fil-A. There's a special Chick-fil-A here. Was it? Is it like the first one? Yeah. Or the original one? Or what? The Hawaiian thing. Oh, the Hawaiian thing one. I'm excited for that. Okay. <laughs> so we just got to the Airbnb. It's so beautiful. I'm going to do a quick house tour. So this is an Airbnb in Atlanta. Okay, so when you first walk in, this is what you see. To the right is a kitchen. The, the appliances are so nice. I love the cabinets. It came with like a knife set. There's plates and other kitchen utensils here. Yeah, the sink is really nice. Cute little plant. And then there's a bathroom on this side. <laughs> Come say hi. <laughs> Hello. It's a really nice bathroom, towels and everything. And then you go to the first room. I have a dream. Nice little dining set. <laughs> TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I don't, know. I don't know what's going on, but like today I've just had to like pee like a lot, you know, like after, before we went to the airport, after we landed, <laughs> wherever else we went, like, and I have to go again, so I don't know if it's because of- Have you drank a lot of water today? Just this morning, like literally I drank water this morning, and then I didn't drink anything else until we got Starbucks. Wow. But yeah, the apartment is really nice. I like it. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lynette on the couch. Okay. <laughs> cute little Christmas decorations. I love this. This is cute. And then there's the second bedroom. It's two bedrooms. Oh my gosh, this one has a mirror. Hey. Bathroom. Cute little poster. Standard bathroom. I do peace signs way too often. Oh, oh they have a wash and dryer. And an ironing board. And then they have a balcony, but I don't know if I'm gonna go outside just yet. There's a balcony table there. But yeah, that's our Airbnb tour. It's really nice. Wow. Oh wait, so the balcony is not really like a balcony. Like, it's open. You can go down the stairs. We have to have this open like some mud and stuff. Yeah, that's cute though. But yeah, now we're gonna head to Chick-fil-A, probably, right? 
Oh, yeah. Are we gonna take a little break first or should we go now? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, so now we're here at a place called Das Barbecue. We got, we came here to get some food. The Chick-fil-A was closed. It closed at four. That's crazy. But anyways, this is what we got. So we're back in for the night. We wanted to just relax before we have passion tomorrow, which is gonna be an awesome day. And we're gonna go to the breakfast club, which is like a brunch place here that's really good apparently. So we're looking forward to that. But yeah, so for the rest of the night, we're just gonna relax. We're about to eat some ice cream and watch Hamilton for the first time. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. Currently, we're just getting ready to go out. We're going to this brunch place called The Breakfast Club. I've heard that it's really good, so hopefully it lives up to that hype. We were put on a rating list because it's that popular, so now we're just waiting our turn, and then after that, we're just gonna explore Atlanta for a little bit before we go to Passion tonight at 6 p.m., so yeah. Looks like an exciting day. Also, look at this little cute shoes that Lynette got me and Megan. They're house shoes, but they had me so excited, I thought I'd just mention them. And they're so comfortable. and it was really good delicious would y'all say it was worth the wait yes yeah definitely worth the wait i had lobster which i didn't know was 40 dollars <laughs> here we are <laughs> and look when you get the sweet tea you get these cute bottles they're so cute and they're really good they're really really good yeah, yeah the sweet tea was delicious i had chicken and waffles and it was so amazing with gravy the gravy was so good mm -hmm. and megan had something peach oh yeah Pe i had the peach cobbler french toast just good and the peaches are so good the peaches were delicious but yeah it's called the atlanta breakfast club if anybody wants to check it out it's really good definitely give it a really good recommendation mm -hmm. right. okay bye <laughs> We parked really far, so we gotta walk to the venue because there's like thousands of people here. But anyways, I'm so excited. That's where we're going.
how great is your response? Are you willing to say, hey, listen, Jesus, this is my plan, but if you have a different plan, I'll do it. I'll do it because I, I know the love that you have for me. I know that you died for me. I know what you saved me from. And I do believe that you have good works in store for me. You have a mission for me. And that mission is possible. Guys. said our favorite part was when this rapper called KB on stage. He was really good. And I think my favorite speaker was Levi. Yeah, Levi Lasko. Yeah, he had a really good message. But anyway, so now we're just going home and then we're gonna relax for the night and then get ready for Passion Night too. Sorry. <laughs> good morning vlog. It's day two of Passion. We're making our way to the stadium. which makes it worse. Yay. But today we're gonna try to go to the Chick-fil-A. Hopefully it's not closed, like last time. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see you guys later. Your family, your children, your children, your children. called Truid Slow. It's a Hawaiian themed Chick-fil-A and we also passed the original Chick-fil-A apparently but we wanted to come to this one because they have sweet potato fries so, and we like sweet potato fries so we're excited to try it. But yeah so the first what is it three sessions of passion today they were good. Um, yeah what did y'all think of it? Oh I loved it. I love the sermons that they have and the music is great too so it was good. I think I like the speeches from today, but the songs from yesterday. Cause I'm sorry, <laughs> let me talk to the vlog. <laughs> KB, <laughs> KB's performance is still the best performance. Like, <laughs> like that's what I was actually like, okay, I love, I'm getting into it, you know? It was really hype, like it was really good. I think they just need more energy. I just need more energy from the performers because right now we're all sad and we're crying. I don't want to be sad and cry all day. I get I get it. Yeah. And Maverick City Music is performing tonight because today's the last night or the last day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're performing and I guess they're saving the best for last because there's this dude that was I think yeah what was his name? Do y'all remember? Brandon Lake. That was his name. Mm -hmm. He came out. It was a surprise, and so many people screamed. And I googled him, and he was—he's a part of Maverick City Music, apparently. So, and he sounded really good. So, hopefully, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. But anyway, so then, yeah. Right now, we're just waiting in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. It's taking a minute. 
taking it a little bit too long for our liking because we gotta hurry up and get back. <laughs> but we'll tell you guys how the food tastes and if we think you guys should come here. Tacos, the pineapple chicken tacos were also really delicious if you guys were around there. Yes. 